Well, good day, subscribers. Today is something I'm really excited about because today is the start of a new series on how to build a Robinhood auto stock trader in Python. Yeah! Let's jump in. Before we get started, a little bit of background. In my third semester of Georgia Tech's OMSCS program, I took a course called Machine Learning for Trading. I really enjoyed this class, and if you want to see my review in this class, I will leave a link for it in the video description. In Machine Learning for Trading, we learned about 1. Manipulating data, 2. Financial education and stocks, and then 3 about a couple of different machine learning techniques. After taking this course, I decided I wanted to build my own auto stock trader. So that's what I did. This series is going to go over the trader that I built in Python. And by the end, if you follow along, you'll have your own auto stock trader. Now this series is going to be a seven part series in total with each part designed around a different part of the trader code. In part one, this video, I'm going to go over a bird's eye view of the program, how it works, and what each of the other parts of this series are going to be about. In part two, we're going to start programming, and we're going to start building the first of the three files that make up the trader. In part three, we're going to design the trading strategy in our auto trader, and in part four, we'll integrate that into the trader system from part two. Then in part five, we're going to add a buy and sell command into the trader along with the integrated trading strategy. This will be the code for the trader. Lastly, in part six, we're going to create a graphing program. And in part seven, we'll integrate that into the trader system. Like I said, by the end of this series, you will have your own functional auto trader that you can manipulate with your own trading strategy. To prepare for these videos, I implemented a pretty simple trading strategy and was able to get some pretty interesting results that you can see over here. In these graphs, a vertical green line is a buy command and a vertical red line is a sell command. And we'll go a little bit more in depth on that in part six when we're building the graphing program. So now that we have an idea of what each part in this series will be about, let's take a look at how the system works. Thankfully, the trader works fairly similar to the way we'll be building it. It starts off by logging into your Robinhood account by calling your username and password from a config file that we'll make. The program takes your defined stocks and queries Robinhood for the price of each of those stocks. Then the program goes into the trading strategy and uses the current price information along with any other information that you built into the trading strategy and gives either a buy, sell, or hold command. The trader sends this information to Robinhood, and finally, the graphing program plots out the stock price as well as any trading activity that happened. And finally, the program restarts. The thing I really love about this system is the system is really adaptable to new trading strategies or graphing outputs and more. As we go through it, I'd love to hear what you guys do with this system and how it works. I hope you are all as excited as I am about this series, and let me know any questions you have in the comments. As always, thanks, and subscribe.